Power 96.1, there's Nico and Vince. Uh, am I wrong? Um, welcome to the Power Morning Show. I'm Scotty. This is Riley. Good morning. And the sun is officially in your eyes now while you're driving. It's a beautiful day outside. You gotta love it. Uh, it's Father's Day week, so and uh, we've been doing some Father's Day letters and yesterday. Where our eyes are a little drier than yesterday? Most definitely. The mascara is not running today because yesterday was quite a doozy for me. Riley uh, read a letter that she wrote to her dad. Here's just a little clip. Actually, this is from the video that we have posted online right now uh, on Facebook, Power 961. Here's what happened yesterday, just a little bit. Well, I can't even... Uh, I gotta say thank you to everybody on Twitter, though, that like gave me shout-outs and were just like, you know, you go, girl, like totally supporting me. It was really, really, it, fe it felt really good. It felt like we did it for a reason. Yeah, even your mom called in um, oh, and just said me. she was proud of you. My mom wrote on Facebook. Yeah. It's a family event. You're part of this, uh, where, sure. wherever you are. So uh, it's Father's Day weekend, uh, and that's what we're doing. Riley read hers to her dad yesterday. I'm going to read one to my dad today. Tomorrow, I'm going to read one to my son. And then uh, Thursday, Producer Brett, right, you're going to read yours to your dad. Yep, I hope I'm not gonna cry. I don't want to pull a riot. Do you think cry. you're gonna cry? Uh, not today. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's been an interesting journey uh, as far as my uh, my my dad, my relationship with my dad, and a lot of it you're gonna hear uh, the correlation between today and tomorrow because a lot of the stuff that I apply to being a dad has to do with the things I saw and decided I liked or didn't like. Sure. How you grow up shapes right. you. Um. So is that here we go? Is that what this is? Let's do it. <clears throat> I'm a lot of, I've had a lot of water. <clears throat> All right. Dad, everyone wishes for a second chance. I like to think about going to dad's on the weekend, watching wrestling, and then letting our imagination run away. My brother was Hulk Hogan. I was, of course, Ultimate Warrior. And you were Andre the Giant. And that's, that's not a weight joke. You were just the biggest one. Then our living room became the squared circle where only one of us could become champion of the world. Our endless hours of baseball we played and the time we spent perfecting our skills. No, try again. Nope, get ready. Nope, hold your glove out. The baseball field was where all of our problems disappeared. These are the things that you knew to be a connection between father and son, just like you and your dad. When we weren't with you, those turned out to be the defining times. I'd be lying if I said that your decisions didn't hurt our family, didn't make us cry, and didn't make me scared. I know now it wasn't all your fault, but I knew, but I never knew what it was like growing up with a mom and dad in the same house, and even ones that could have been in the same room together. We lost our house, we struggled to live, and had to survive the best way we knew how because of your choices. You made some incredibly bad decisions, ones way worse than frozen TV dinners every single night, <laughs> ones that made me question every promise ever made, every truth behind every story told, and I wish things could be different. I wish there were less tears and I wish I could change the hurt and hard times, but I would not change the outcome. Uh, this story is ultimately about resilience, about going to hell and back, hitting rock bottom, and taking everyone around you with you, but then trying to come back with heavy guilt. You've been an example to me of what to do, such as if you hold on to videos from Blockbuster long enough, they'll eventually go out of business and you get to keep them. That's good advice, that's good advice. I now have three copies of Princess Bride. Oh, yay. <laughs> but also examples of what not to do, and that includes yelling at umpires, even if they made the right call. I've grown up with an incredible ability to never quit and be able to see the situation and know that I can be bigger than it. The one thing you did make sure is that I never had to go to the extremes that you did to get out of a bad time in my life. If I ever needed money, you found it. There was always a way to figure it out, even if I didn't want to know where the money actually came from. You turned things around and now you get to enjoy your children's success and the love of your grandson. I've been able to apply the feelings I had growing up with you and mom fighting to my relationship with Chance's mom. Chance will never feel the way I did growing up, and that makes me a better dad. As a dad, I now understand the idea of being willing to endure extreme amounts of pain just so your child doesn't have to. So thank you for stepping on my Legos first. That is the worst pain in the world, by the way, if you guys ever stepped on Legos. Uh, the lesson I learned from all the bad and the good is that I can pass, that I can pass down to my son is that no matter what, we can figure it out. Now I can look at Chance and say, you get to be Hulk Hogan and grab your glove. I'll teach you to play ball. As much as I wish things were different, I wouldn't be as strong if they were. Thank you for going to hell and back so I didn't have to. P.S. Not all food comes frozen. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> well, I was crying. <laughs> I know. I thought I was going to get through the day without crying. Dang it. 
I don't know. There's something about you like talking about baseball and hold your glove out and stuff. Cause you. All right, moving on. Moving on. No, this is something that like. Uh, I've been like friends with Scotty for like the longest time. I consider one of my best friends and uh, I, he said to him this morning when he had his letter I was like, we don't talk about your dad like a lot So I mean to me it was just like learning new things about you as you read the letter So that was really just even cool as like one of your best friends Bravo my friend <laughs> that, <laughs> that takes some guts. I know and you so. got choked up by the way yeah, I, 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 I'm not gonna cry today. <laughs> I, made, I made it through. Yeah. Uh, it's Father's Day week. I do want to say Happy Father's Day to everybody out there, and don't forget to acknowledge your dads out there. Uh, we will do another one tomorrow, right about the same time here. No, no, you will do another one tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I almost just I will swore on the air. <laughs> <laughs> I will write a, uh, read my letter to my son tomorrow. All right. So let's let's move on. Yeah, let's move on to. Uh, we're, we're gonna okay. We're gonna do celebrity gossip next. That's coming up in the Hollywood hashtag. As well as uh, we have the American Idol tickets, right? All right. All right. And now, Kesha and Pimple. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Power 96.1. It's Scotty K and Riley. Good morning.